What's up everyone, it's your boy Ben back again with another viral video. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm absolutely appalled by the latest drama surrounding Harry and Meghan. As if fleeing to America and trashing the royal family wasn't bad enough, now we find out they invited Netflix cameras to film the Queen's funeral events. That's just low, man. Real low. So now it blows my mind to know how these two keep finding new ways to disrespect the Queen and the Royal's institution. After her death, don't they have any shame? Don't they have any respect for the Queen who served the Commonwealth in 70 years? I mean, she was Harry's grandmother and Meghan wants to turn her funeral into a reality show? That's just sick. And can we talk about how they always play the victim in every situation? Oh, poor Harry and Meghan, the mean royal family is so racist and rigid, they just had to escape their clutches and move to America. Boo-hoo, give me a break. They knew exactly what they were getting into when they got married. Meghan was literally given the title of Duchess on a silver platter. But that wasn't enough for her. She wanted to be the star and call the shots. The naive Harry has been dancing to her tunes ever since. What happened? Whipped much, bro? I'm tired of... Uh, their pity party. The royal family has been nothing but welcoming to Meghan from the start, but she's proven to be a manipulative social climber who stops at nothing to get fame and fortune. I mean, come on, she's a Hollywood actress. Did we really expect her to adjust to royal life and protocol? It was always just a business move so she could gain status and wealth, and now they're just capitalising on their royal connections despite badmouthing the family all the time. Like, what does Harry even see in Meghan? She's clearly using him as a meal ticket, and he's dumb enough to go with it. The mask has slipped, and Meghan's true colours are clear. She never cared about Harry, only what she could do for her profile and bank balance. I wouldn't be surprised if she dumps him once he's been fully exploited. I feel bad for William, though. He tried to bury the hatchet and invite them over to honour the late Queen together. But as always, Harry and Meghan had to make it about themselves. I'm telling you guys, these two are nothing but attention-seeking narcissists who don't care about anyone but themselves. They knew the Netflix cameras would cause controversy, but went ahead anyway because any publicity is good publicity in their books. All they want to do is stay in the limelight, even if it means piggybacking on a solemn occasion like the Queen's funeral. Disgraceful. And all the drama they caused during Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee celebration was just a warm-up act. Using the Queen's own death for Netflix views and money is a new lure. They just keep dragging the monarchy's name through the mud over and over again. It's crystal clear the royal family means nothing to them. They're just parasites who don't deserve to be anywhere near the palace. Where still is Harry doesn't seem to realise how Meghan is ruining his family ties. Or maybe he's in denial and can't face the truth. Either way, I don't see this ending well for him. Meghan will, of course, crush anyone who stands between their name. Let's see, Harry and William's bond will never be the same again. And for what? So Meghan can pretend she's still royal for Netflix cameras? So she can bank some extra millions into her overflowing coffers? Come on, man. These two need to get over themselves. The world doesn't revolve around the Sussexes and their drab reality show. I'm sick of the blatant pursuit of fame and money while acting holier than thou. If you really wanted privacy, you wouldn't broadcast your life to Netflix. You lost the right to call yourself royal, so stop selling your bogus royal brand already. Have some self-respect and carve your own identity without constantly evoking royal connections. At this point, I hope King Charles grows a spine and strips their tails for good. Maybe then, they'll finally pipe down and leave the royals alone. Meghan only knows how to play dirty to get ahead. Well, it's time someone put her in her place, and if Harry wants to be a doormat for Meghan... He can enjoy exile too. The monarchy is better off without these toxic family members. So what do you guys think? Are you also fed up of Harry and Meghan's never-ending publicity stunts and exploitation? Let me know in the comments, guys. And don't forget to smash the like button if you want to spill more tea. Your support keeps me creating more raw, unfiltered content. So until next time, stay real, guys.